Where's uh, Where your jet? Okay. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I should I should be able to tell. He's the only black gypsy in the room. Uh, this morning when I walked in, um, Gory said good morning, and it made me think about my conversation uh, with um, the uh, my last interview last night with Nobel, and. Um, when uh, in the military, when you say good morning, what's fucking good about it? Uh, I need to give some both half assed answer. And they said, uh, and it get into, do you like me, Panna? Or penis, as they called me. Do you like me? You know, so, you don't like me. You like my sister? You know, and they go through all this shit. And, you know, like, are you lying to me now or are you lying to me later? And they ultimately, you know, for the, in my day, they did. If they didn't beat you, uh, they made you do 50, 100 push ups, et cetera. But I had an interesting conversation <clears throat> the last interview. Uh, with Nobel, and um, and if you don't mind, I'm going to share some of the stuff that we talked about. And uh, we've talked about conquering fear. Uh, we've talked about uh, because the the guys that don't make it in the program, and all of you won't be here a year from now. If it is, it'll be the first class that there ever was, and it'll be because uh, you quit. And uh, the uh, not the similar to SEAL training, you know, not everybody makes it. Uh, and uh, more in recent years, uh, I throw some out that that uh, aren't with the program. But um, when um, when I was uh, talking to Nobel, that he has not that not a dissimilar uh, past than myself. Uh, the uh, and uh, the he was a fuck up, uh, and uh, the um, uh, he went in the military. Uh, he. Uh, uh, got himself straightened around, uh, and uh, he understands these things that we're talking about, doing things uh, that, um, in spite of us being afraid, it's, it's not being afraid, it's, uh, it's not what happens to you, it's uh, you know, how you react to what's happened to you. Uh, the, uh, and so uh, he, uh, is, he got out of the military, he went back to school, not dissimilar, he finished his degree in two and a half years, very, uh, very much like I did, and now he's at the next step of his life. The things that he did in addition to what I did, he got inf- involved uh, uh, to, um, for self-confidence, for, let's leave it at that, in, uh, in martial arts and cage fighting. And so you, you can never, you can never uh, tell uh, uh, by looking at the package what's inside. So uh, he did that, uh, and so he was a cage fighter. Uh, and uh, the, uh, um, it's, uh, I, I didn't do that. I got, I got in a lot of fights, but I wasn't a cage fighter, martial arts. And so he understands the discipline angle. He understands focus. He understands a lot of the things a lot of you cunts don't. In addition to that, <clears throat> he was a member of one of the elite, arguably the 82nd, would say the most elite, but one of the elite fighting units of all time, 82nd Airborne. And so they, there's a mystique about the 82nd Airborne. And uh, you can Google it there. You know, over a drink tonight, he can tell you about it. But uh, so he learned the traditions of uh, failure's not an option. And uh, the, uh, which you could all do well to uh, live your life as failure's not an option. Uh, and instead of how you were trained, unfortunately, by your mealy mouth parents. And again, I want to say, because I was looking at some emails last night, it's, it, your parents didn't go out of the way to fuck you up. But as we talked about, I did the best I knew how, or I did the best I could. Well, that just ain't good enough. Unfortunately, the love of your parents doesn't get you across the goal line. It just doesn't. Uh, It's even worse, in some cases, if you don't have the love of your parents. And I've seen people come through this program that hated their parents. And that's what drove them across the goal line. I'm not suggesting that end of the continuum, but I for sure know that I've seen that work where they, they, they had such disdain. I'm going to prove it, and normally it's to your daddy. I'm going to prove my daddy wrong. I'm not a worthless piece of shit, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And um, again, everybody I've talked to has got either minor or major daddy issues. Uh, the uh, so it's 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 interesting. 
Uh, so Nobel's at, at, at a crossroads in his life, and he's here. Uh, and, um, but when I was talking to him, he went to a Jesuit school, Jesuit University. And uh, I asked him, I, I, he, I knew it was a Catholic school, and, but then after I talked to him, I said, is it, is it, Jesuits? Is it a Jesuit school? And I, most of the schools that a Catholic, a Catholic uh, religion has are Jesuit, because Jesuits are the teachers of the uh, teaching order of the Catholic Church. And I can't think of which the nun order is, and that's why I was asking about what nuns trained you, but there's one or two of the nun orders that are also teaching. But you, I can listen to him, and he sounds like a Jesuit seminary, from a guy, a young man from a Jesuit seminary. So the, the, the Catholics have left his, their mark on the little Pakistani kid here. Uh, and that's what the Catholic Church says. You give me your child the first seven or eight years, and these are my words, I'll fucking own him. And, they, and they've been saying that for 2,000 years. And uh, the, um, uh, notwithstanding all the problems they've had and, you know, uh, the pedophiles and the priests and all that shit, I mean, they're still around 2,000 years later and they're uh, uh, maybe not as strong as ever vis-a-vis uh, uh, church attendance, but they're, you know, uh, they're a power to reckon with. Uh, and uh, the, uh, So he has the benefit of understanding what it is to do things in the face of fear. And, you know, we were discussing, uh, you, know, you know, he was scared shitless in a lot of things he did. Then he was deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. So he understands all that. And, uh, the, uh, and uh, so some of the things, uh, whereas uh, Michael's got an advantage because he's done roll-ups with his dad, and a couple of other of you have got slight advantage, marginal advantages, because of your backgrounds, um, the um, only marginal, nobody, just because he did that, that doesn't make this program easier. It makes certain aspects of this program easier because, you know, he's, he's not afraid of certain things that you will be because he knows they're not shooting bullets at him. At least uh, we haven't discussed what you're going to do yet, so unless you're going to be robbing banks, uh, hopefully they're not going to be shooting bullets at you. And so, you know, it's, it's um, in, in every group that I have, there is, you know, a lot of different personalities. And there used to be a program on uh, TV 15, 20, 25 years ago about New York City. And it says 8 million people and 8 million different stories. Of course, New York City's got a lot more than 8 million people now. But here we got 22 people and 22 different stories. Uh, and um, they're all different. Uh, the, the, the takeaway... For you is that no matter what your story is, and I've told you we've had murderers come through here, we've had uh, uh, convicted felons, and we've had everything, we've had French Foreign Legion, you name it, we've had it. Uh, and um, the, um, the deal works. The fucking deal works. And when um, I was meeting with Rich, who is the penultimate person I saw last night, and for those of you ignorant fucks, you can re- look up penultimate, uh, the, uh, we were talking about how when he was doing his uh, research uh, 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 about me and he, and, he, and he saw a few things, and, and he's, he's one of the older guys in the group, uh, you know, the, uh, some of the lines um, connect more quickly looking at what I did uh, than for some of the younger guys in the room because they haven't done anything. Uh, so... Uh, in some asp- in some respects, the younger kids that haven't done anything, the um, you needed more research, and then of course some of you young guys saw me three, four, five weeks ago and made a decision because in the search that you you, you did on Google, vis-a-vis you know uh, what you were looking for, it, it resonated and it clicked. So all of you have different backgrounds, different social economic milieus, yet you're still here, um, except for the three students. Uh, all of you have been out in, in the real world, um, and probably a third of you don't know exactly when you came here, didn't know exactly how you were going to use this, uh, but you knew that you needed to do something different, uh, and uh, one of the students, how long do you have, a year left? How long? Two years, okay. You know, he, 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 um, he, he, he said that you know, I, I didn't know exactly what I needed to do, but so he thought that, uh, or he knew that this was the kind of uh, uh, exposure. 
Because what we do here, and what I do for the week, and we're halfway through um, uh, the week now, is that I expose you to not only new ideas, not only new opportunities, but a different way of thinking. And as um, I showed you the slide that was resonated the most with Brian Rose, um, uh, you take all the um, uh, research that you've done and all, all the due diligence you've done about personal development, et cetera, uh, and you connect the dots here because this isn't about personal development. You know, we're connecting the dots on what little experience you have personal and couple that with the experience that you think that you've gotten from reading all the bullshit books, which I know you haven't, because if all those books had even marginally resonated with you, unless you're fucking amoeba, you wouldn't be here. I'm going to say that again for the YouTube fucks. If all the fucking books that you've read, all the pod fucks, all the, all the bullshit that you've spent time wasting, my, in my judgment, time on, had had even a marginal effect on you, you wouldn't need to fucking be here and take eight, nine days out of your life. And the reason you're here and the reason why people listen to the podcast, uh, or, yeah, this, uh, this thing on YouTube, is because they haven't had an effect. Because most of you, like Leonard, are looking for the perfect answer. And he's looking for the perfect answer because he is a mechanical engineer and he doesn't want to uh, have the, the bridge break. And I'd never heard that before. He said that he was taught when he was going to engineering school that, you know, when a doctor fucks up, only one person dies. But when I fuck up, a hundred people could die on the bridge. Right? Well, that's such a load of co cock. It's unbelievable that they're teaching that shit. I mean... I, never, I always wondered why the engineers were so fucked up. But now he's, he's brought it home to me. I, I, I don't understand that. You know, why would they tell a kid that? Why would they tell a kid that? I don't know. You saw Klausi last night, right? Uh, take away from uh, watching Klaus, who visited me here a couple years ago. Not a couple years ago. Is it a couple years ago now? Yeah, a couple years ago. Two years ago. What's a takeaway watching him uh, standing right here? Okay. What did you? What did you? What did you garner or learn or? Very value based. <coughs> Very what? Value based as opposed. Yeah. And what else? Very diplomatic. He listened to the questions. He made sure he was answering. Uh, he, he played everything very calm and stuff. Yeah, he is. He's friends with Henry Kissinger. So, what's that tell you? That's good. You know, I said there's two ends of the leadership continuum. There's the Henry, in Henry Kissinger end of the continuum, who I don't know. I think I met him once, maybe 40 years ago. And then there's my end, General Patton, and psychopaths at my end, you know. Um, but he's certainly not at my end, yeah. Um, yesterday we were talking about um, like to persuade people these days. Yep. In order to get your point across. Correct. Um, is there an ideal way uh, in the communicational approach? Because I mean, you've got your end and... There's no ideal way, but I mean, Kla Klaus is as smooth as baby shit. I mean, he's very smooth. He's smoother today. And Klaus, if you're a little uh, uh, social media fucks at... Uh, uh, Alcoa watching this, he, he wasn't that smooth in 97. He was smooth, though, but not anywhere near as smooth as he is now. And of course, you know, he's 17 years older. He's more mature. He's had a great deal of success. And success breeds self-confidence. Success breeds more success. He's the only, to the best of my knowledge, he's the only non-U.S. citizen appointee from President Obama. I forget what he's appointee, but he's something. He's the only one. Um, and uh, I believe he still has a lot left in his career. He's going to do great things. He's going to do great things. And I'm proud to have uh, been his mentor. So it, it, it works in the, in the corporate world. YouTubers, we'll see you after lunch.